Let's say we had a question like this, 8 to the 4 over top of 20 to the power of 5. Okay, now I know that it's intuitive for some of you guys to say, hey, look, the answer, we can just cut that in half, like say 4, we could do 4 to the power of 4 and 10 to the power of 5, or cut that in half again and say that's like 2 to the power of 4 and 5 to the power of 5, because I'm just taking down my fraction, right? Like, that's how we do things. Well, we're not sure if that's true, so we're gonna test it out, okay? Because this might not be correct. Let's see. First of all, we have to remember that eight to the power of four is really eight times eight times eight times eight. I stretched it out because I know that I'm gonna be doing uh, more stuff here. And the bottom is 20 times 20 times 20 times 20 times 20. Okay, just for fun, by the way, you can always say times 1 at the end, just in case you need it, an extra 1, you know, you never know. Okay, next line, what we're going to do is split the 8 up into its prime factors. We're going to use our factor trees. So 8 is a 2 times 2 times 2, and a 20 is a 2 times 10, and a 10 is a 2 times 5. So there's an 8 is 2, 2, 2, and a 20 is 2, 2, 5. So let's just put that in place. 2 times 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 2 times, two. Ah, times 1. What the heck? And below that, we'll have a 20, which is a 2 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 5. I'm just using the brackets here to show that these belong together. Like these three used to be the 20. All right. And now that we're at this stage, we can do some serious canceling. So let's do that. These cancel out, those cancel out, cancel, 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 and that's that. So what we're left with here is on the top we have a 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, okay, so we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and on the bottom we have 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, and then two more little twos there. Oh, wait a second. I can cancel those out. I didn't even notice that. Okay, I'll do that right now. Cancel, 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 cancel. So I really have 2 times 2 over 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. You might have noticed a change in the board. It's because I made a mistake I had to fix. There's nothing wrong with that. Now, to solve this, 2 to the power of 2, we could say is... Uh, two, 2, which is 2 to the power of 2, and this is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, so that would be 5 to the power of 5. And this would be okay. This is called exponential form. You can write that down, exponential form. But if your teacher wanted you to solve it further, uh, for example, like all of our answer keys show when it's just numbers, it actually calculates out the numbers, we would have to do that. So we would just continue to, to go. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And then down here is, so 25 times 25 times 5 is 3125. So that would be your actual answer if you were to finish it all out. But now we come to the question of this. Is this the same as this, what our original position was? And the answer is no, it's not. Therefore, we can't make the assumption that we can just simplify the fraction part. And we know that this is incorrect because of the proof that we worked out, which points us to this as the actual answer. Not 2 to the power of 4 over 5 to the power of 5, but 2 to the power of 2 over 5 to the power of 5.